Part seven, Orange is the New Black. Let's do it. Did you seven bottles of Pantene for this shit? Hey, I thought you went out USC over at King Kong. And if you call this shit one more time, you can take your ass down to Geneva. I love how she's paying for her hairdo in commissary items, right? She said, I paid you seven bottles of shampoo for this. And that is very authentic to how things are bartered between inmates in the prison system. I also noticed that she said, like, if you don't like it, you can go down over here to Danita, right? Um, and that sort of implies that there's two salons available for inmates where she's at. In Texas, if a female's unit is fortunate enough to have a salon, it's for sure only gonna have one, right? It's definitely not gonna have two. So I was on a unit for about a decade. Out of that 10 years, the salon was probably open about six months total because they did not have staff um, to a lot for an officer to basically sit and babysit in the salon. And that's just how it was. You were not definitely not going to be in an environment like a beauty salon with all of the supplies that that requires without an officer babysitting an inmate. <laughs> On this show, I noticed they're kind of free and um, never have an officer in there. So eh, that's for sure not how it goes down in Texas. Homemade Remedy, a present from Piper to Red. Red has that sore back. Piper's trying to get back in her good graces. And it works. Red starts letting Piper eat. You can see she's happy about it. So I love that they put this in this show because um, in the penitentiary, we are not provided with everything that we need um, to, for our health, right? We have to come up with our own ways. And I love how she made her own um, cream, her own back cream for sore muscles. And uh, we just do all kinds of things like this. Face cream, facial bars, um, drinks like hot drinks to um, ease congestion and all, all those sorts of things. So good job, Orange is the New Black. So they're at like a movie night, right? Everybody's gathered, they get to watch a movie as a group. Um, that was not happening in Texas prisons for sure. The only time we ever got to get together um, like that would be for a church service. I'm in Texas, it was Bible Belt. <laughs> Uh, that's the only time anything like this would happen. We did have TVs in the day room that we could watch movies if they just happened to come on the regular programming. Um, and it was just reading captions. You couldn't even hear it. So that's how that went. So thank y'all. We'll see you next time.